Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have terrible stories of children who were murdered. Too many stories of children being murdered have been in the news lately. One is too many. But our children are dying at an alarming rate. It's as if they're under attack, and these stories are going to be hard to hear. But they need to be told, because their lives mattered, and they didn't deserve to have them ended by adults who could not handle their problems or being parents anymore. Or worse, when they are targets of someone's revenge on another. I'm going to start with two children police in Griffin, Georgia, are currently searching for, because they believe they are in danger. The City of Griffin Police Department posted on their Facebook page on May 14th, asking for help finding two precious babies that I have pictured in my thumbnail. The post read as follows. Please help us locate Sage and Violet Dahl. Sage is three months old, and Violet is three years of age. They are with their mother, Jenna Grommel. They are in the company of Curtis Powell. Powell, age 51, has active warrants for armed robbery and should be considered armed and dangerous. Grommel and the children were last seen in Griffin, Georgia, but could be in Atlanta metro area and are known to be with Curtis Powell. If you have information that would help us locate Sage and Violet, please contact Investigator Jay Spears at 770-229-6450, extension 559, or email at jspears at cityofgriffin.com. The safety and well-being of the children is our number one priority. Please help if you know where the children are located. Please say they believe the children's mother went with their father willingly, but they're concerned about what their father will do when he's found. Please pray for their safety. Now, on to a tragic story out of Dallas, Texas, where police say a four-year-old boy was found deceased in the street. But they say he was not hit by a car. He was found in a pool of blood by a woman jogging in the neighborhood, and when police arrived on scene, they said the little boy suffered multiple wounds. He was found in the early morning hours of May 15th of 2021, lying in the street without a shirt or shoes. Dallas police have arrested an 18-year-old man for the child's murder and have charged him with kidnapping and theft, and he's being held on a $750,000 bond. There weren't many more details released about what happened. And even though I've already said enough, unfortunately, I'm not done. Police in Tempe, Arizona, tweeted out on May 15th of 2021 that they were investigating the homicides of a 9-year-old and a 7-year-old. Their mother had been taken into custody for their murders. According to the police report, officers were called to the home where the murders occurred prior to the murders in the early morning hours of May 15th for a domestic dispute between the father and mother of the children. Officers said when they arrived at the home, the two children were sleeping in their beds. They said at that time, they separated the couple and no arrests were made. Then, just hours later, officers said they were flagged down by a woman who was the mother of the children, claiming that she was hearing voices telling her to kill her children. Officers went to the home to do a welfare check on the children, and they said they found a grisly scene. They found the nine-year-old and seven-year-old murdered, and what they described as severely mutilated. Police spoke with the father of the children who told them that he and his wife had filed for divorce in April, and they had been arguing over money. Then he went to sleep in his car after she threatened to stab him on the night of the murders. He said he never feared for the lives of their children. During an interview, the mother told police she went to sleep with the children, and she woke up with blood all over her, and her children were dead. But she told police she didn't believe she killed her children. Then she took a bath and drove herself to the police station. Police said they found a bag with a bloody meat cleaver in it, in her car. She's facing charges of first-degree murder. And if you've heard enough at this point, I don't blame you. You may want to click off, because I'm still not done. And this next story 
is just as bad as the last. According to police in Newport News, Virginia, a 35-year-old mother contacted her fiancé on May 10th of 2021, saying, quote, Don't be sad, but the house would be bloody when you get home. Unquote. According to the probable cause affidavit, John Howard called 911 and rushed home after receiving the threatening message, and upon arriving, found blood in numerous bedrooms. Then he found the two children lying on the bed in the master bedroom with their mother. They were cut open and covered in blood. When police arrived on scene, they pronounced little 10-month-old Zell Howard dead. An 8-year-old Winter Gnu was stabbed multiple times, but she was still alive. She was rushed to the hospital and underwent surgery for over 50 stab wounds to her little body. According to news reports, she is currently in critical but stable condition. Police say they had been called to the crime scene in the past for domestic disputes. The egg donor of the children was arrested and charged with second-degree murder. Why not first? I couldn't tell you. Malicious wounding and two counts of child neglect. Police say she admitted to stabbing her children with a pocket knife and she is being held in Central State Hospital for psychiatric care. Her court hearing is scheduled for May 20th of 2021. I pray that Winter recovers quickly, and that she has loving family surrounding her to help her deal with the hell she went through, including the loss of her baby brother. And I also pray for all the victims in these stories and their loved ones. How they even begin to deal with these tragedies is so far beyond me. I complain that these stories are hard to report, but I can't imagine what a true nightmare they are to live. Thank you so very much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on my next video.